I'm super excited. I mean, we're leaving tomorrow morning for a T-Rex dig, you know, and that, how cool is that? And not only is it cool that it's a T-Rex, but it's really special T-Rex because we think it's a, we think it's a girl and we think she was close to laying her eggs before she died. And we found some weird substance inside her bones that could either be cancer or egg laying bone or, or something we don't even know about. So that's one of the things we want to investigate. And it was found by the rancher's daughter. And the little girl goes, well, I know where there are some bones dribbling out over there. And Maddie's T-Rex was discovered. This is a, a specimen that right now is 15% complete, but that includes lots of bones of the skull, including a jawbone with teeth. We got a leg, we got a complete foot. Uh, we're just super excited to get back and see if we can find those tiny little arms. Uh, but it's not just the dinosaur. We get out there and we're uncovering a time capsule and we have a window of time. It's a slice. We get to turn through the pages of Earth's history and stop right there on one day when this dinosaur was fossilized. Maybe talk about how this dinosaur lived because we found injuries on her bones and she's really young to be having injuries. And so we know the older ones interact a lot, but this has given us a clue that the, the younger ones, once they got big enough, they were brawling and inflicting injuries upon each other. It's a T-Rex rib, huh? What about, how cool is that? But all this area right here of rumply bone, that's abnormal. It should be nice and smooth and shiny like that, but up in here, this texture is from bone that has been injured in some kind of way. Now this particular T-Rex decided it would uh, hide in a cliff, and we have to go climb up there every day. It's uh, one of the tallest buttes in the area. It's very steep. Uh, there's a cliff on one side and uh, an incline on the other, and so we sit on top of that butte. If we find any bones, they gotta be lowered down on ropes, and so we do this days on end until actually we just run out of either rock to dig or we run out of money. And this is actually the end result. This is called a plaster field jacket, but it's made by trenching around the bone, all the way around like that, digging underneath it, and then putting a, the plaster cap on it. So ideally, this bone is really in the ground like this. So we've dug around it, we cover it with tin foil, then we cover it with plaster and bandages and burlap. We let that harden, we dig around it some more, and we just flip it right over clean off the other side and expose the bone back here in the lab. This is an icon. Um, where it was found, it was found in the Hell Creek at the very bottom of the formation. T. rex as a species only lasted a million or so years, maybe a couple million. And it's only found in North America. So there have been more found, there's been maybe up to 50 by now. But some of those consist of just little isolated pieces or more complete pieces. So something that we have right now, 15%, we're maybe in, in the top 25. And this particular specimen has clues and scientific information that we can glean from that skeleton.